Hey guys, it's Saru. Fishing has just released on Terra, but players are confused as how to get started or how it even works. So I'm going to go through the feature piece by piece and guide you through the marvelous world of fishing. So to get started, you want to fly or teleport over to Crescentia, which will direct you to waning. And from there, you have to be level 22 to get started, by the way, just in case you thought you were level one, you can go there. From there, it's pretty easy. He will take you and teleport you to the Murakai fishery. And from there, you're going to get started with all of the quests and that will teach you how to fish. Okay, bye guys. No, but seriously, you'll talk to him and they'll give you the old rod and then from there it'll just tell you what to do basically. Now if you're confused here and it doesn't work for you like it didn't for me, for example, you need to hold square and change the bait in order for it to work because sometimes the bait has to be specific to the area. For example, we are on the Summerfest, so some of the bait is specific to Dragon Turtle Beach. So from there you'll be able to fish. So you want to switch it over to bait one and then change it up. You should take note that you might need to keep changing the bait to bait one in order for it to work because it's buggy right now so maybe they'll fix it maybe they won't i don't know from there you just need to get specific fish and then take it to mutant and he'll take you to the next area which is cutthroat harbor and then you'll speak with cordy and cordy will want you to make fish fry and it basically goes like that once you finish the quest they'll take you to the next location and the next location and a cool thing is that if you talk to the fishing supplies npc you can get all of the teleport scrolls pretty cheap and they'll take you everywhere. So along the way you'll notice a design called Angler's Whiskers and what it does is basically it lowers your waiting time while you're fishing. Now to craft it for example you'll need 6 Norse Steel, 6 Goblin Ingots, 5 Opal Silex, 5 Obsidian Silex, and 1 Pulsating Essence and you'll be able to craft 1 but you need to be at least 500 processing to do so. From there you can also upgrade the whiskers and I'll leave this up while I upgrade so you guys can see all of the chances while it fails or while it succeeds which does lower on console and what I mean by lower is that the upgrade success chance does lower It does not stay 100% through and through it does lower little by little every upgrade So from here you'll be able to see the necessary mats and items that you might need in order to upgrade this fully So as you can see, it'll lower the waiting time while you're fishing, the max being 18%. As for fishing rods, it's a little more difficult because it is more costly. Now in this current build, there are three types of rods, which is the old fishing rod, the Zer metal rods, and the ash sapling rods. Now there will be a fairy wing rod in the future, which makes it up to four, and the old fishing rod is kind of useless really because you don't really want that, you can't upgrade it. But for now, we'll focus on these ones. And I'm going to leave up the cost of the upgrades for the Zer metal for you guys to see what it costs and what you guys need in order to prepare ahead of time in order to push it to max. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the ash sapling rod.
So you'll get used to it after a while, and this is a decent way to make gold. It's not a perfect way to make gold, but at least it's something to do, especially when fishing for different types of tiers of fish. You can also turn in 20 times a day to the fishmonger, so you can check the NPC for the fishmonger association or whatever their name is, and then you can see what they need and what you'll make gold if you actually fish it and give it to them. Now you can do this 20 times a day, but you can fish unlimited times a day. You can do it all day if you want and stock up on those fish, so the next day you could just turn in another 20 and so on and so forth. Now the difference is that with the Federation Resource Manager, which is usually right next to the Fishmonger Association NPC, you can turn in fish crates, but only twice a day. Which kind of sucks, but it makes sense because you can make 3k a day really if you really just craft them, but that does require crafting as most of this is kind of tied in together with crafting. Now the last piece of information that there is, is the various amounts of bait. For example, bait 2 gives a 20% increase on the chance of getting high grade fish, while 3 is 40%, 4 is 60%, and finally tier 5 bait is 80%. There is also different types of bait that you don't really get to craft, but you get from events and probably the store or something, I'm not really sure at this point, but you might see it around. You see popo bait which gives you 80% as it does with tier 5 on the normal bait, but a 25% chance to catch a big ass fish. Yes, that's what they're called, BAF, BAF, big ass fish. Dapple bait is the same in the terms of the 80%, but the big ass fish chance is 5%. And lastly is the rainbow, which is the same, but the big ass fish is 10%. Now there are different types of bait that you can also get from the fishing supplies locations, and you can go check them out, but for these special ones, you can't really get them, so I thought I'd show them off. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and fish, and it's pretty self-explanatory once you start the quest and make sure to read them because they will tell you what you need to do whether it's cooking whether it's making a fish crate or turning in the fish crate or so on and so forth so we'll be getting into crafting soon with the brand new revamp that we just got with this one as you guys can see we have brand new categories like processing smelting cooking and so on and so forth so we'll be getting into that afterwards I know it does tie in with this but I thought I would make it into separate videos if there are any more questions about fishing and how to actually do it or whatever the case you can put it in the comments below and we'll talk about it there and i will try my best to answer as much as i can make sure to subscribe and click that adorable f***ing bell to know when i upload a brand new video much love and as always till next time friends